Guys, a new month is upon us and it just might be the biggest month for physical media in the entirety of 2024. Let's talk about my most anticipated Blu-ray and 4K releases for the month of October. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we're here to talk about my 10 most anticipated 4K and Blu-ray titles for the month of October 2024. And guys, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This may be the most stacked month in the, of the entire year so far. Like, the amount of titles coming out this month is staggering. Not only do I have my 10 most anticipated, which are the ones that I am looking forward to the most, the ones that I am just chomping at the bit to get into the collection, to watch on 4K, to hopefully review for you guys on the channel. These are the ones I'm the most excited about. But beyond that, like there's some honorable mentions that I have, which I think is about 10 as well. And then there's just so much other stuff that we are also going to discuss because I like these to kind of be a preview of the month to come. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to discuss everything because like I said, there's so much coming out this month. I'm sure there's something that you're really looking forward to that I'm not even going to mention in today's video. But I do ask that if there is something you're looking forward to that I don't mention, please call it out in the comment section below. Also, just comment what you're looking forward to in general. Hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button and then turn on bell notifications for all future videos, guys, because like I said, October is a huge month and I plan to cover a lot of this stuff on the channel. So turn on bell notifications for those future videos. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let's start with uh, number one, my number one most anticipated, which to be honest, it's the first one I'm going to talk about, but it's also actually my number one most anticipated of the month, even though these are really in no particular order. But that is Nightmare on Elm Street coming out on 4K, guys, from Warner Brothers on October the 15th for $23.79. Also getting a 4K steelbook as well that, as of right now, is sold out. So, guys, look, I, I cannot wait for this. I am just so excited to finally get to watch a Nightmare on Elm Street on 4K. We've been waiting for this movie on 4K for so freaking long, and I can't wait. Comes out in the middle of October, and I will say I did jump right to October the 15th, guys, because there was nothing that I was looking forward to coming out on October the 1st and October the 8th. Maybe some honorable mentions that we'll get to later, but nothing that would be on my 10 most anticipated. So A Nightmare on Elm Street it is where it starts for me in the month of October. Freddy finally in 4k guys like he deserves this so much he has not gotten the streaming yet we've got all the 4ks for michael except for the rob zombie movies we've even got a couple for jason at this point uh three for friday the 13th where is nightmare on elm street on 4k we finally got the first one i can't wait to see it i think this movie is so visually spectacular it's going to look freaking awesome on 4k and i cannot wait to finally watch it i am salivating thinking about watching this film on 4k so guys definitely expect a review of an Iron Elm Street on 4K. I'm going to be talking all things Nightmare on Elm Street on 4K when this sucker finally releases. So let me know what you're the most excited about. There's also an overseas Warner Brothers edition as well um, that does look pretty nice. I didn't get it, but there is that option if you want to import that UK option. I, I think it's still available. I, I could be wrong though. That could be sold out as well. But let's get into my second most anticipated and talk about the ring. Uh, coming to 4K from Paramount on October the 15th. This is coming out a standard 4K edition for $24.49. Also a 4K steelbook that looks pretty nice for $29.99. I'm going to settle with the regular standard 4K with this one because I already got a really nice like VHS tape slipcover Blu-ray steelbook of the ring, which I'm pretty happy with. I just want to see The Ring in 4K without having to purchase the shitty sequels, you know? I was not a fan of The Ring 2, and I was not a fan of Ring, so I did not get that Screen Factory set, and I was hoping, because I knew that Paramount had this, that they would do the first one at least on 4K, and they did. So I have been rewarded for passing on that Screen Factory edition, and I got, I'm going to get The Ring on 4K, Standalone, which is the only film of this franchise that I really care about. So yeah, The Ring on 4K, it's going to look spectacular. This is a great look film and I think it's going to look great on 4k so I can't wait for that that's my number two now let's go ahead and jump into my number three and that will be the sixth sense coming out on 4k from Disney on October the 22nd for 34.49 so this is an M. Night Shyamalan film I've loved this movie for a very long time I remember seeing the film when it came out the twist definitely blew my mind if you haven't seen it I'm not going to spoil it here even though it's really hard to stay away from this twist like everybody likes to talk about this twist 
But the sixth sense, I think visually, again, it's going to look fantastic on 4K. There's so much, um, you know, aesthetic appeal to this film. It's got great set design. I'm thinking of the red balloon going up, you know, the just the, the camera work. And so I think all that stuff's going to look beautiful in 4K. You know, his breath coming out. I, I see dead people in 4K, guys. Can you can you wait for it? I can't wait for it. And it, look, I got to... I got to give credit where credit's due. Yes, I think it was Shyamalan that kind of pushed these 4Ks, uh, but Disney's putting it out. So you got to give Disney some credit. It's a Hollywood Pictures film, so it's some of their back catalog stuff that they haven't touched in a long time. So again, I got to give Disney the credit. They're the ones that are putting it out. So The Sixth Sense coming to 4K, guys, from Disney, October the 22nd, 34.49. Are you excited for it? Let me know in the comment section below. But guys, as excited as I am for The Sixth Sense, I am so excited for my number four most anticipated and that is Signs coming to 4K from Disney, October the 22nd, same date as uh, The Sixth Sense, for $34.49. So another M. Night Shyamalan film, but this movie is legitimately in my top 20 films of all time. I saw this movie three times in the theater the week it came out. Like the same week I saw this three times in the theaters. I love the movie so much. The opening, the music just drew me right in. I think this movie is going to look so spectacular in 4K. I've watched the Blu-ray recently. It looks okay, but damn, is there room for improvement for signs, and I'm so glad. Again, thank you, Disney. I know M. Night Shyamalan pushed it, but thank you, Disney. I try to give you credit um, You know, when, when credit is deserved and when it's needed. I try to give you credit, guys, even though I hate doing it because I think overall you kind of suck as a company. But you're putting out signs, one of my favorite movies of all time on 4K. Um, so I, I'm excited, guys. This movie, like I said, top 20 films of all time. I think it's going to look beautiful in 4K. That comes out on October 22nd, 3449. Let me know if you're excited for signs and also the sixth sense in the comment section below. We've also got uh, Death Becomes Sir. This is my number five most anticipated. This coming out on 4K from Screen Factory on October the 22nd for 3299. So this is one of my favorite Robert Zemeckis films. I, I love this movie. I've been watching it since I was a kid. I watched it again a few years ago. And damn, does this movie hold up. And I still say this, guys. This is one of the most underrated Bruce Willis performances. Like, he is doing something completely different. Like, going against all of his other type of roles, I feel like, in this movie. And he's spectacular in this film, as is Goldie Hawn and Meryl Streep. They all three have such, like, a cool chemistry with each other. And this is such a fun movie. Horror, comedy, and I just, I think it ages like a fine wine. I think it's a spectacular film. I think the movie's going to look so freaking good in 4K, and I cannot wait. Robert Zemeckis, one of the greatest visual directors of all time. He's, you know, he did Back to the Future, you know, uh, um, freaking Castaway, Forrest Gump. Like, he's on so many classics. Death Becomes Her is another one of those classics. And I think this movie's going to look so good in 4K, and I'm so happy to have more Robert Robert Zemeckis um, on 4K. Can we get What Lies Beneath on 4K next? That would be pretty cool. But Death Becomes Her on 4K, guys. Screen Factory, October the 22nd, $32.99. Let me know if you're excited for that in the comment section below. We've also got, coming at my number six, guys. This is a Blu-ray. I think it might be my the only Blu-ray that's on my list is Cuckoo. And uh, this is a movie that came out from Neon. It's coming out from Decal Releasing on October the 22nd for $18.29. The only thing I... I'm a little reluctant to get this. I am going to get it because I missed it in the theaters and I really want to see this movie. So I will buy this Blu-ray to support the film. But I do think that if the Blu-ray sells well enough, there will probably be a 4K announced somewhere down the line. I talked about this this week with Immaculate getting a 4K release. Like if it sells well, the decal releasing loves to do this kind of move. So I feel like Cuckoo might get a 4K at some point, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the Blu-ray because like I said, I just want to see the film. If I'm and if I'm gonna rent it off a of TV, like it's gonna cost 15 bucks uh, to do that anyway. So I might as well just pick up the Blu-ray uh, to get Cuckoo. So let me know if you're excited for that in the comments section below. We've also got Zodiac coming to 4K. This is my number seven. This is coming out from Paramount on October the 29th for 24.49. So this is a David Fincher film, and I have not seen this movie since it released in the theaters. Um, I think I might have saw it in theaters. Maybe I watched it when I rented it. I can't remember, guys. I'm getting old. But Zodiac um, is a movie that I remember liking but not loving. And I am excited to revisit this because I feel like at this age I might appreciate the movie 
a little bit more. And I, you know, from what I remember, this move, this is a movie that will look good on 4K. I am kind of curious about this one, though, because a lot of people said it was shot in HD and it's not really a movie that's made for 4K. So a lot of people are curious about like what actually what this is actually going to look like when it hits 4K from Paramount. And people are also a little leery of Paramount anyway. So we'll see how Zodiac on 4K turns out. I'm excited to rewatch it. I don't own it in the collection. So like I said, I haven't seen it in such a long time and I am excited to revisit it. That comes out from Paramount October the 29th, $24.49, which is not a bad price at all. We've also got coming in at my number eight, guys, is another childhood favorite of mine. They did the first one three years ago. I'm like, where's the second one? Where's the second one? When are we going to get the second one? And we're finally getting Adam's Family Values on 4K from Paramount on October the 29th for $24.49. So I cannot wait to watch this movie on 4K. I love this film so much. Um, I, the first one, guys, I talked about it recently in a video about Paramount, the best and worst of Paramount. Uh, the first one is one of the best 4Ks uh, that Paramount has ever put out. So I'm hoping they put that level of detail and care into the second one. I believe it's the same director, so I'm sure he'll come back to do, um, you know, the restoration work and stuff. I'm sure it's going to look just as great as the first one, but I love the Adams Family movies. They're super important to me, super nostalgic for me. I grew up with them, but Adams Family Values, as much as I love the first one, Adams Family Values is, is kind of my favorite of the two. So super excited to see um, Adams Family Values on 4K. Getting into my number nine, guys, and I hope I get this in time for Halloween because after Halloween, I'm not going to be in much mood to watch this movie, but Trick or Treat is coming out on 4K from Arrow Video on October the 29th for $31.86, and this is also getting an Arrow Video site exclusive as well. So this is a movie that, uh, you know, I, I watched it when it first came out. I liked it, but I did not love it. But over the years, like this has really grown into one of my Halloween watching favorites. It's also one of my wife's favorite horror movies. Um, as well so we can enjoy this one and watch it together and this is a film though like regardless what you think about the actual movie it's a horror anthology so I mean I love it I love those type of movies but um, the movie itself like visually like there's so many vibrants like awesome colors like all throughout Halloweeny colors like oranges and yellows and reds and stuff like it's gonna look so good in 4k all those Halloween de decorations like the movie just like oozes like Halloween like all throughout like it just feels like such a, it feels like you're walking into a Halloween party like watching this film um, it's going to look so good on 4k and it's Aero videos doing it guys so like it's gonna look even better like Aero video trick-or-treat sign me up 4k October the 29th let me know if you're excited for that in the comment section below. Um, coming at my number 10, guys, is a Second Sight box set release. I always got to put the latest Second Sight box set release on my list if I pre-ordered it, but Late Night with the Devil is getting a 4K box set from Second Sight Films on October the 28th for $45.46. It's still available to pre-order on the Second Sight website, and it should also be on Diabolic and Orbit as well for around the same price. But Late Night with the, De with the Devil, guys, that is one of my favorite horror films of 2024 so far. I love the movie so much. And I think this movie, even though this is kind of found footage, it's still going to look so good on 4K. Like, it's just because it has that 70s aesthetic. The movie's very cinematic looking. Even though it's found footage, it's very cinematic. And I can see this making a great 4K. And all the other releases that have come out for Late Night with the Devil, the Steelbook, which I didn't get, the Umbrella release, which I have got, but I haven't unboxed it yet. Um, those are Blu-rays. So we've gotten Blu-ray releases of Late Night with the Devil, but I am holding out for my next watch of Late Night with the Devil to be this 4K release because I think this is going to be the definitive way to watch this movie. So I am so excited to get Late Night with the Devil, the 4K box set from Second Side Films, October the 28th for $45.46. So that is my 10 most anticipated, guys. Did I do a good job uh, for the month of October? I'm looking forward to all those titles. I am so excited to watch them. Now let's go ahead and get into my honorable mentions because I got quite a few honorable mentions as well. So what qualifies for an honorable mention? Maybe I don't get it this month. It doesn't mean I'm going to get it this month, but these are releases that I am 
um, looking forward to getting at some point. Just, just not enough for me to put in my 10 most anticipated. Maybe I get some of these this month. Maybe I get some of them next month or maybe next year whenever they go down in price or something. But these are all movies and releases that I am interested in getting at some point. So A Quiet Place Day 1 comes out from Paramount for on October the 8th on 4K for $34.39. Blu-ray for $28.79, 4K Steelbook for $40.79, and also a Walmart 4K Steelbook for $34.96. So plenty of options for A Quiet Place Day 1. I did not see this movie in the theaters. To be honest, Like I'm not too interested in watching this movie. I don't know what it is. I'm just not that excited to watch it. But my wife has expressed interest in wanting to see it. So it's very likely that because of her, I go ahead and grab this when it comes out and we watch it together. Uh, so A Quiet Place Day 1, guys. I'm not the most looking forward to it, even though I heard good things. Um... But, you know, I'll probably get it this month. We've also got Maxine coming out from Lionsgate on October the 8th on 4K for $34.49, Blu-ray for $31.99, and getting a Walmart Blu-ray um, edition for $39.99. Hopefully that price goes down a little bit. That's expensive for a Blu-ray. But that cover on that Walmart edition actually looks really damn nice, and I like it better than the regular edition. Not enough to pay 40 bucks though, but Maxine is a movie that I rented um, off of VOD because I couldn't make it out to the theater to see it, and I couldn't wait because I was excited to see the movie, so I paid $20 to rent the damn film. So I, I don't want to turn around and pay $34.49 a couple of months later to get this. I will get it at some point to complete my X trilogy um, on physical media, but I can wait till that price drops just a little bit to pick it up. Um, Kinds of Kindness uh, is coming out on Blu-ray as well from Disney on October the 8th for $31.99. This is the latest Yorgos Lathamos film. I watched this, I think, on Hulu and loved it. I, I This is one of my favorite movies of 2024 so far. It's, it's a horror anthology, like basically, like when you really boil it down, just a very artistic um, horror anthology. So really enjoyed Kinds of Kindness. This will go in my collection at some point. I'm just not in a hurry to buy it because I just watched it on Hulu. We also got To Catch a Thief um, coming out on 4K for, as part of the Paramount Presents line on October the 15th for $30.79. This movie is one of my favorite Hitchcock films. It will look gorgeous in 4K, but I don't know if I'll get it this month just because I'm in kind of the spooky season mode and I'm not going to watch To Catch a Thief this month. So maybe I'll get it down the line, but I'm not going to get it um, this month. We got The Wolfman coming out on 4K from Screen Factory. This I will get this month for sure. October the 22nd for $32.99. I like to support Screen Factory when they're doing new titles and stuff. And The Wolfman is a movie. I think this came out in 2010. I never watched it, but a lot of people um, say that this is really good. I don't remember a lot of people talking about it when it came out, but now I think people retroactively like really like The Wolfman. They said it's actually a pretty damn good um, adaptation of the of the Wolfman from back in the day. So I will get this and, and watch it. And Screen Factor, I'm sure, is going to do a spectacular job on the transfer, so I don't worry about that. We got The Oddity um, coming out on Blu-ray. This is an RLJE title. This is a Shutter original. This is coming out on October the 22nd for 17 59 her great things about this new horror film i do want to check it out but i'm not excited enough to put it in my 10 most anticipated we also got in a violent nature coming out on blu-ray from rlje on october the 22nd for 17.99 this movie is my favorite movie of 2024 so far i loved in a violent nature but this is just a standard blu-ray release i'll probably get it this month just because i want to support the film and i want to see it on 4k um but i'll be honest like in this movie guys will look incredible in 4k but i'll be honest i'm almost hesitant to get the blu-ray because i can feel an umbrella announcement for in a violent nature coming at some point whether that's going to be blu-ray or 4k there will be a superior edition i believe coming out for in a violent nature at some point but again I love the movie. It's my favorite movie of the year. I want to support it, so I will probably get it on Blu-ray at some point. We've also got the uh, Columbia Classics Volume 5 4K set, which, to be honest, like I, I, it's got Little Women on 4K in it. I, I've forgotten all the other films that are in it, but that's coming out from Sony October the 22nd for $162.99. I've got the other four Columbia Classic sets um, in my collection, so I will get this at some point just because I'm kind of a completion. I'm kind of all in on Columbia Classics at this point. doesn't even matter what movies they put in it, um, but I don't anticipate this is going to sell out. It's not going to be like the first one or the second one. 
I don't think it's going to sell out. It's going to be more like the third one, I think, because the movie selection to me like isn't the greatest. So I don't see this one selling out. I think the price will go down a little bit more. Maybe to 130 140 will be my sweet spot to pick that one up. But I will get that at some point. We've also got the Hell House LLC Blu-ray box set coming out from Umbrella for $90 on their website. I believe it's still available on their website, but I am very excited for this box set. I almost put it in my 10 most anticipated. The only thing that's holding me up is the fact that I don't think I'm going to get it until maybe early November because sometimes Umbrella is a little bit behind with sending me stuff, but I'm super excited to get this and check it out. I've seen the first Hell House LLC, and it's one of the scariest movies I've seen in my entire life. Like, it is frightening. Like, that movie, like, kept me awake at night, and no horror movies do that. That movie did that, so I'm excited to check that out again and also check out the sequels because I've never seen any of the sequels. I think one of them um, is a prequel, but yeah, the Hell House LLC movies, I cannot wait to get this Blu-ray box set. It's a spectacular box set from Umbrella Entertainment, but those are my honorable mentions, guys. A, a lot of honorable mentions. I know there's a lot of stuff coming out in the month of October. Now, let's go ahead and get into the other titles because this list is staggering, and look, to be fair, like I, it's possible I get some of these as well at some point, but they're just not ones that are currently like on my radar must have at this time. Let's just go ahead and run through it. Paramount Scares Volume 2 from Paramount's coming out on October the 1st for $63.19. The only reason this is here is because I already have it. So I can't be excited for it if I already have it. I already did the unboxing review Friday the 13th Part 2. Already have this set, so can't get excited for it. That's why it's in other titles, but I do need to let you guys know it is coming out October the 1st. We also got Devil coming out on 4K from Screen Factory on October the 8th for $32.99. I've got a Blu-ray of this. I don't need a 4K as of right now. Sleepy Hollow is getting a 4K Steelbook 25th Anniversary Edition from Paramount October the 8th for $29.99. Already got two 4Ks of this, so I don't need that. Friday Night Lights is coming out on 4K from Universal on October the 8th for $29.49. Also getting a 4K Steelbook for $35.49 as well. This is one I'll probably get at some point, but I can wait till that price drops just a little bit. We got Brick coming out on 4K from Kino Lorber on October the 15th for $39.95, which is a pretty steep price point for a Kino 4K. I'm sure it's cheaper on their website. Definitely go there. Cowboys and Aliens on 4K is coming out from Kino Lorber October the 15th for $26.98. We also got Land of the Dead getting a 4K release from Screen Factory on October the 15th for $33.99. We got the Thanksgiving 4K Steelbook for all those that bought Thanksgiving on Blu-ray back in January. Here's your slap in the face with this $40 steelbook coming out from Sony October the 15th for $41.49. I like Thanksgiving, but I don't really need to own that right now. I'll get the Blu-ray at some point. Maybe the 4K steelbook if it goes down in price. But, you know, it is a nice steelbook. I like the turkey on the front. I think it looks cool. American Movie on 4K is coming out from Sony on October the 15th for $27.34. Ghost is coming out on 4K from Paramount Presents on October the 22nd for $35.19. I'll get that at some point because it's Patrick Swayze and I got to have all the Patrick Swayze on 4K. Uh, Twisters is coming out from Universal October the 22nd on 4K for $40.49, Blu-ray for $29.99. I'm sure these prices are going to drop. And a 4K Steelbook that was up for pre-order. Now it's not up for pre-order. It might be a Walmart exclusive now that I'm thinking of it. The Hitcher on 4K is coming out from Warner Brothers on October the 22nd for $24.99. There's also a Blu-ray version and this will be the same transfer that is on the second site edition. We've also got Gummo coming out on 4K from the Criterion Collection on October the 22nd for $34.99. Also, a Blu-ray version of that will be coming out for $27.99. We got the Hellraiser Quartet of Torments 4K box set coming out from Arrow Video in the US. The previous version was in the UK on October the 22nd for $119.99 on Amazon, but this is available on Diabolic right now currently, guys, for $76.99. So if you want to get that, I'm sure the price on Amazon will lower, but if you want to get that and you want to ensure a good price point, I would go Diabolic or maybe Orbit uh, for the Hellraiser set. Now, this would be like the top of my most anticipated. I think it was last year, but I already have it. I've had it for a long time. I reviewed it last year. So this one goes in other titles, but I do want to make you guys aware of it. We've got Deadpool and Wolverine coming out from Disney October the 22nd on 4K Blu-ray, getting two 4K steelbooks and a Walmart Blu-ray pop-up book. I will get this on 4K at some point. I really enjoyed the film, but it's nothing I need um, right away. Borderlands is coming out from Lionsgate, guys, October 22nd. It's getting a 4K for $34.49, a Blu-ray for $31.99, and a 4K Amazon Steelbook for $34.99, which I did pre-order. Um, I'm kind of excited to get that. Maybe it should have went in my honorable mentions because it is a Claptrap Steelbook, but 
As for the movie itself, I'm not really excited for the movie. To be completely honest, it might be a while before I watch the movie. I just wanted that Claptrap Steelbook because I was a fan of the games back in the day. Um, there's also a 4K Walmart Steelbook of Borderlands as well for $34.96. That looks really nice, but the Claptrap is definitely superior to me. We've also got Drag Me to Hell uh, coming to 4K from Screen Factory on October 29th for $32.99. To be fair, that's the Sam Raimi movie. It's probably going to look great on 4K. I'll get it at some point. I'm just not in a hurry. We got Shocker coming out on 4K from Screen Factory October the 29th for $33.99. Another film, you know, it's a Wes Craven movie. It's got additional special features as well that differ from the regular Blu-ray version. So I'll get it at some point. Just not in a hurry to get it right now. And lastly, guys, we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original cartoon coming out on 4K from Universal on October the 29th for $26.62. And there you have it, guys. That is October 2024. So many incredible titles coming out in the month of October. But again, I could not mention everything. If there's something I didn't mention that you're excited about, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know of all the stuff that we did talk about. What are you the most excited about? Let me know that in the comment section below. Subscribe, like the video, turn on bell notifications for all future videos, and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.